Welcome to E-Train with V-Train, quality training at affordable rates. This is the E-Training and Remote Arm of our Technology Training Service Program, and we aim to deliver relevant shortcuts and tips for our tech users and subscribers. This lesson is going to cover an introduction to Mac OS X version 10.6, managing files and folders. Here's a situation. We're going to create a folder and a subfolder in Mac. You're working with too many documents every day, so you think it'll be better to create two folders, one for messages and one for work-related documents. You name the folders, letters, and work. But later your colleague tells you that your office follows project and correspondent as the naming convention. So you want to rename the folders, create related subfolders, and place the related documents into the respective folders. The new folders you created are located directly in the users folder, but they need to be placed inside the records folder. Step one, let's create a folder, each for messages and work-related documents. On the dock, Click the Finder icon, which is placed first from the top. On the sidebar, click the Macintosh HD icon. On the menu bar, choose File and New Folder. In the Untitled folder, type Letters and press Return. In the Mac HD window below the Users folder, click in the blank area to deselect the Letters folder. Likewise, create another folder. In the Untitled folder text box, type Work and press Return. Step 2. Rename the Work and Letters folders. Click below the Work folder to deselect it. Click the Work folder to select it and press return. Type Projects, press return. Click the Letters folder to select it and press return. And type Correspondence, hit return again. Step 3. Create four subfolders in the Correspondence folder. Observe that the Correspondence folder is selected and on the toolbar click the Detail button. Place fifth from the left. Choose File, New Folder. Type Q1 and hit Return. Likewise, create three subfolders, Q2, 3, and 4. On the toolbar, click the Back button to return the co to the Correspondence folder. Step 4. Relocate the Correspondence and Project folders. Let's drag the correspondence folder onto the user folder icon. And if necessary, the item correspondence can be moved because users can be modified message box. Click authenticate and the type your password to allow finder to make changes message box. Type your password and click OK. Click to select and then drag the projects folder onto the users folder icon. If necessary, the item projects can't be moved because users can't be modified message box. Click Authenticate again and in the Type Your Password to allow Finder to make changes message box, type your password and click OK again. If necessary, click the Users folder to select it. Now observe that the new folders are displayed in the Users folder. We've just created folders and subfolders in Mac OS X. That's going to wrap up this session. Be certain to sign up and subscribe on our homepage for a continuous stream of training tips and other content. We're always available online at vtrain.biz. That's v-train.biz. I'm Bruce Robinson for vtrain. Thanks for tuning in.